Greetings and welcome to Asia L Artist and Body Care. My name is Asia. For this video, I'm going to be remaking and cutting my blue linen soap. Without any further delay, let's get into what you came here for. So before I get into the details of this soap, I just wanted to share something with you guys. Lately, I've just been having these like amazing moments of just feeling of gratitude. I don't know how else to describe it, but just great feelings of gratitude. And um, it's because of a lot of different things, mainly because this time last year, I was just very sad and angry due to the loss of my sister. She was the youngest of myself and my siblings. And so of course it was just like, you know, surprising and devastating. And the last thing I wanted to do was to try and grow a business. I just wanted to stay in bed and be angry and be sad. And so now here it is a little over a year later and I, I feel motivated again um, in her honor. I do a lot of things, you know, because she was so proud of me. And uh, I get to meet people now that um, you know at the I'm doing we're doing our first market here in Los Angeles every Sunday, and so one of the things that we're able to do is we meet people from all over the country, people who are visiting from all over the world. So we get different perspectives on life and travel. We get to meet people from every uh, ethnicity. Um, we get to have these amazing cultural experiences, and I just feel really really grateful for that. I look forward to going to the market every Sunday because I know that I'm going to learn something new, um, meet some kind of amazing person, you know, and so I've just have been having these amazing moments of gratitude. And you know, of course, in life, we're going to have like struggles and adversity, but what I think makes our struggle or our adversity unique is how we choose to come out of it on the other side. If we choose to grow and improve and um, take and use whatever lesson was intended for us to learn from that tragedy, adversity, or you know, a horrible situation or uncomfortable situation. Now I'll get back to the notes on this soap. So although I call this soap blue linen, I originally called it fresh blue linen, so it's the exact same scent. And sometime last year I decided to change the shape of my soaps from being squared to rectangle simply because it just fits better in the hand. Um, my soaps are actually the same weight but just a different size. And with regard to the scent of this soap, it is fresh, it's clean, it has just a really slight hint of sweetness but it also is an aquatic sort of scent. It's one of those uh, soaps that men love it, women love it. One of the biggest reactions I get from this soap uh, from people is that when they smell it, they'll tap the person that they're with and they'll go, oh my God, smell this soap. So it's been a really great seller for me because both men and women love the soap. And with regard to the design of the soap, I tend to use for all of my soaps uh, with the same scent when I do a remake, I do use the same color. I just sort of like um, vary the design element a little bit. I removed about one third of the soap batter so that that one third of the soap can remain uncolored. And for the remaining soap batter, I colored it with celestial silver, which is this pretty silvery blue color. And for some reason, when I thought about the look of the soap, Coast deodorant soap came to mind, which is a soap I remember from my childhood. And although this soap smells nothing like Coast soap, for some reason I wanted that look, which is like this like marbled blue look, very pastel and white marbled blue look. And so although I'm mixing in the color into the batter, as you'll see, I'm not blending it to make it a solid color. I'm just trying to get a marbled effect. After all of the marbled blue soap is in the mold, I then add the creamy white top of the soap. And it doesn't matter to me if it's like a perfect line of separation between the blue and the white. I sort of just want to convey that the top of the soap is just pure white.
to create texture on the top of the soap I'm using this cute little spoon I believe it may be an ice cream spoon so um, I'm always on the lookout for little tools here and there uh, to create a texture for the top of my soap because in most cases I just take a skewer and do what I call my swirly twirly uh, swirly cue or whatever kind of effect for the top of the soap so this is just like a just a nice departure and um, gives a really good textured look to the top of the soap After patiently waiting for about 16 hours, I was able to cut this soap without any issues. Immediately I noticed that the top sort of has this like ocean wave look. I wasn't going for that. I was more so thinking of like peaks and valleys, but with the blue, that marbled blue in the, in the body of the soap and that top looking like water, it just conveys the scent of the soap perfectly. So I'm really happy with this soap. Also, all of the links to my social media will be in the description box. And I want to thank all of my subscribers. Welcome every new subscriber and send a special thank you, hello, and hello, pardon me, to everyone that I've met at the Merrill's Trading Post so far. And uh, stay tuned for a final photo of Blue Linen Original Coconut Milk Soap. Have a fantastic morning, afternoon, or evening. See you soon, everyone.